Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about a new collaboration from ColourPop. This time, it's a very festive collaboration with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is definitely a family Christmas classic in my house, and I'm sure a lot of other people are going to feel the same way. They're really getting me with the nostalgia of this one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This collection is launching today, the day I upload this video, November 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure you check your time zones. I'm not sure if or when this will be available at Ulta. There is a ColourPop Instagram post that says that this is launching on November 18th exclusively on the ColourPop site. So I'm genuinely not sure if that means that this launch date is exclusive to the site or if the entire collection will be exclusive to the site. That's just yet to be seen. I'll try to keep the description box updated if anything more comes out. Please feel free to leave a comment if you see anything else. And I'm also not sure if affiliate codes will work on this. I had no idea that my affiliate code would not work on the most recent Mandalorian collection. So you can always give it a shot. Typically, my affiliate code will save you 10% on most purchases. Sometimes it doesn't work on the full collection bundles. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it applies to everything. Sometimes nothing. I genuinely don't know. I think those types of things even end up changing up to the last minute so i wish i could give you better information but i can only let you know what i know and i don't know so anyway we have a lot of products to talk about in this collection and we do have one really cute accessory they're these little antler deer ears hair clips I don't necessarily see myself wearing these, but I think this is a really cute idea. I love all these little fun accessories that they're adding into their collaboration collections. I think this is a great idea and could be a cute little giftable item. I feel the same way about this Soul Body Humble Bumble Bath Soak. I think that this is a dissolving little bath bomb. This smells very, very strong of mint. Uh, my whole studio now smells very strong of mint because of this. I'm guessing this is going to be around the $9 to $10 mark. They haven't really announced the official prices yet, but that is my best guess for this Mega Mood Melt. And we also have a Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. This is one of the mini sizes, and these typically run about $10 each. The shade is called Jingle Jingle Jingle. It has the cutest little Rudolph packaging. I really like the festive packaging with this. I'm sure it's one of those either love it or hate it type of things. I think it's cute. It fits the movie, so I'm not too mad about it, but I see how it could be maybe not for everybody. Here is a live swatch of the body powder. It's a really soft, icy pink. It's very sparkly. This could also be really cute on the cheeks or on the eyes. Next, we have some lip treatment products from Fourth Ray, a lip scrub and a lip mask. They come in these really cute little ornaments. We saw something like this similarly packaged in the Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration. So the Rudolph Lippy Scrub has this little wreath on top, and these are kind of a minty scent. The Lippy Scrub seems to have more of a vanilla mint or a sweet mint type of smell, whereas this lip mask seems more overarchingly minty and not quite as sweet vanilla. This is just based on my experience with the product. I haven't seen ColourPop say what the scents are, but they are in general a minty type of smell, peppermint type of smell. And this lip mask, it looks hard and waxy when you see it here, but it is very, very soft, very quickly warms to the touch, and it is amazing. I love, this is one of my favorite products. I love the Fourth Ray lip masks, and I use them constantly. Next up is a ColourPop makeup product. We have a Luxe Gloss Trio called Couple of Misfits. 
based on the Lux Gloss Trio from the Bambi collaboration, I'm guessing that this is going to be around the $27 mark. That's how much the Bambi one is priced at. We do have three very shimmery, very sparkly glosses. Lots of cute packaging. This is probably my favorite packaging as far as the individual items go. Something about this is just very irresistibly cute to me. We do have some fun little shifty shades here. Of course, the shade names are on little stickers on the bottom. We have these beautiful little snowflake prints. I just love this. Something about this is really, really pretty to me. And I don't typically get very excited for the Lux glosses, but this just really works in my opinion. This does have the same scent, same formula, same applicator as all of the regular line of Lux glosses. And here you can see a quick little arm swatch. None of these are groundbreaking shades. They fit fine with the collection. Overall, the lip products here are not crazy innovative but I don't really think that's what they're going for with this collection. We're going way more traditional here. Next up, we have some lip color duos. These I'm guessing will be priced around $16 each based on the Hocus Pocus lip duos. They're called I Think You're Cute and There's Always Tomorrow. The I Think You're Cute duo has the Clarice shades and then There's Always Tomorrow has the Rudolph shades. These also have special packaging on the products themselves as well as the outer box. I really, really like this little snowflake print. I know it's basic, but I just think it's so cute, so festive. I will say the shade name labels are so microscopic on these. It was even hard for me to find them, so just be warned of that. These are their typical lippy pencils, which means they do need to be sharpened. They're super easy to sharpen in just any old regular makeup pencil sharpener, but they do not twist up. Next, we have the Cream Luxe Lipsticks. I love this sparkly packaging. I really didn't expect to be as taken with this Christmassy packaging as I am, but I don't know, maybe it's just that time of year. It's so happy, it's so pretty and joyful, and I just love all the little details on this. When you see the bullet lipsticks, they have little snowflake prints stamped into the lipstick. I love these little details, I think they're super cute. Now, as far as the shades go, we got a basic nude and a basic red. Again, nothing too crazy, but it does make sense in the context of this collection. And I think overall they're going for something that's a little more traditional, a little bit more safe. And it, it makes sense from a marketing standpoint. Now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. I'm guessing that this palette will be around $25 based on the Malibu Barbie collection, which has a palette of the exact same size. So it should be around that price point. I like the outer packaging on here. Of course, the box has the ingredients on the back and we will notice that there is one shade that has the pigment warning. This is a red matte, so it makes sense. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check the description box and I will link a video where I go into more detail about that. The details on the packaging, however, are what I want to focus on right now. I love the way this is done. It's so classic. It fits the theme so well. We have the little peekaboo of the characters around the mirror. And then when we look at the shades in here, I know a lot of people are not jazzed about this color story because it is more basic, but I feel like it just perfectly fits the movie. It would be weird to not have done something along these lines. You know, they could have done something a little blue for Abominable Snowman, but overall I think this is really cohesive. It's really festive. It's really wearable. And these pans are the same shape and size as the other square pan palettes. You'll see it here with sandstone. And these are magnetic, so you can swap them out and customize your palettes if you see so fit. Now let's take a look at the swatches of this palette. Finger swatches on top, brush swatches below. Some of the darker mattes do need to be built up a little bit, but 
I personally don't think that that's a sign of a low performing shadow because I and I think a lot of other people really like to be able to gently build up our deeper colors instead of just going in with a super deep, dark, inky, opaque matte shade, which can be more difficult to work with. So don't let those shades fool you, particularly that green. But overall, I'd say this is pretty consistent performance across my other ColourPop palettes. Now it's everybody's favorite time. At least it's my favorite time. It's comparison time. I only have a handful of comparisons here. We're starting off with one of my favorite holiday releases from last year. This one is the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is probably the absolute closest match of all of the comparisons I'm going to show you today. And probably the closest match I could come up with from a single palette in this entire collection of mine. Now, this is the first palette I thought of. It's the All I See is Magic palette from Holiday 2017. Really digging into the archives here. And I actually purchased this palette inside of a Sephora. Believe it or not, there was a short little blink of time where you could buy this palette in Sephora. Anyway, it's pretty similar color story, but not a ton of one-to-one -one shade matches. And that's going to be the case for the rest of the comparisons I show you here. So Jaded is a comparison palette staple for me. And you can see, again, same story here. You could probably get a couple of similar eye looks. The shimmery red looks pretty similar. But other than that, not a ton of one-to-one -one shade and finish matches. However, it's undeniable we've got some of the same vibes and, you know, we're going to see the same thing here with It's a Mood. Not a bunch of one-to-one -one shade matches, probably a couple more than the So Jaded palette, but, you know, you could pull off some similar looks. You could definitely pull off some festive Christmassy looks with It's a Mood if you really wanted to. I don't think that it's just the shades alone in this Rudolph collection that are going to be what drives people to purchase it. I think it's the cute factor. I think it's the nostalgia factor. And I think these would really, really be great gifts. I would love to receive one of these as a gift. It feels special and this is a limited edition collection, so it really at the end of the day is pretty special. It's definitely festive, nostalgic. I think a lot of different ages are going to enjoy these products. My personal favorites are the lip mask and lip scrub. I think those are the top picks for me. I also really, really like the eyeshadow palette. I feel like some people are going to say, oh, it's too boring. And, you know, it maybe it is too boring for some people. I really like it, and I think it's reflective of the fact that it has some great comparisons in some of my personal favorite palettes. So I think this is just a color story that I personally really like, that mix of neutrals and jewel tones. It's got some great variety in mattes and shimmers and light, medium, and deep shades. And those are all things I personally enjoy in a palette. So I think the palette, the fourth ray lip products, and potentially the luxe gloss would be a really, really cute gift. The gloss shades aren't super special, but that's part of what makes it so giftable is they are pretty universal, easy to wear, regardless of your style, what colors you like, your skin tone, all of that stuff. They're very universal appeal shades. So Maybe it doesn't feel super special to makeup collectors, but it is going to be a phenomenal gift option. So those are my top picks. I would love to hear what you think about this collection. Are you interested? Are you picking anything up? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And don't forget, I love your face. Okay, bye!